because KFC will help you live? I'm so confused. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Panda and today I'm going to be showing you five different ways you can decorate your houses with some plant decorations. So here's the first one that I'm going to be showing you. It's like a plant little uh, window. And then over here some hanging plants that I got an idea from someone else. Here's my original flower plant idea. Then we have like a windowsill one. And then finally we have these lava lamp lights. So stay tuned for the video as I show you how step by step to build them and also the ratings of all those girls over there. They helped me rate my build and how much they liked it. I'll see you guys in the video! Okay, so for the first build we're going to be doing like this windowsill plant decoration. And I already have here down a wall that we're going to be using and the large standard window. Uh, layer out with this one and so what we need to do is go to the decoration then to the storage get the oak shelf and with the oak shelf you go right under this um, layer of the windowsill and then you can easily place it but unfortunately for this you would need the advanced placement game pass which costs robux and I have it if I turned it off and pretend I didn't have it it wouldn't allow me to place it here it would only allow me to place it here and it would be kind of difficult to do I don't I'm not sure you're able to do it but for now I'm going to be using the advanced placement and show you so now that we have the windowsill I'm going to be needing the plants of course and for the build over there that I'm going to be copying, I used like the standard plant, the pure plant, that's what it's called. And I'll be able to move it and you want it like two places behind the edge of the shelf. So you go one, two, like that. And you know what I'm going to try? I'm going to get the rough plant and I'm going to put it in the middle of these two to see how it actually looks when I place it down if I were to use this. So now we're going to get the smaller box over here which is just like usually used for decoration but for this we're going to be using it for something else. I'm going to rotate it like that and now I'm going to get the smaller grid. Now to get a bird's eye view like this I just press the space bar on my computer and now I'm going to move it so that the boxes can go like that. You're going to be needing three for each row so as you can see I just placed down two of them and it's now one in the middle and so I'm going to be doing that for the rest of the windowsill. Okay, so for this final one, I'm just rotating this box so we can fit it just like that. And so we have our finished outline layer box, whatever you want to call it. So now I'm going to be clicking F on my keyboard, which allows me to color. I just selected one of the boxes and now I'm going to be getting the dark to pay I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it and then I'm going to be getting this texture over here which looks like it's dirt you can also use a green texture if you wanted if you wanted it to look like grass you'd go here and use like this carpet looking the grass over here you know what let's try the grass because the dirt one is literally you just use dirt and you put it all around there so now we're going to be using the grass and we're going to do the same over here. And then we're going to color each of the pink boxes to the grass color. Okay. So now I'm pretty sure that we're done coloring this and it kind of looks pretty cool. So now what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to grab this color over here and as you can see I have this dark to pay color and then this wood texture which makes it look like it's outlining the shelf. I 
think I like this one better now that I'm looking at that dirt one. I feel like this gives a more variety of color. So now what I'm going to be doing is clicking the plant and then clicking the box. As you can see, it changed the leaf color, but it doesn't change the texture because it doesn't allow it to. So now I'm going to be, you could literally choose whatever color you want to change your plants to. So I'm going to be doing that to all of them. So we got our last plant colored over here and here we have our first decoration finished. So this is my second decoration of a way. Usually you could put this inside of the house. I actually saw this build somewhere, so no credits to me. I'm just showing you how you could use it. So what we're first going to be doing is going to the storage and we're going to get an oak shelf. As you can see, my grid is still is going to be medium. And you can place down the shelf uh, wherever you wanted it. So I'm going to be doing a little design like this and place this on the lower level so the lights will connect like that. So now we're going to go to decorate, lighting, and find the lighting that we want, which is the vertical neon light. And with this, we want to get the... yeah, like that. So what we're going to be doing is literally finding out where we could place them. So I'm going to move the lighting like that. I know it doesn't line up with the shelf, but we're going to make it line up. We need another lighting to finish it off because that's like a floating one and we're going to like connect both of the gray parts so it lines up fully. If you wanted you could put also a rim right over here to make it kind of cool but I don't think I'm going to do that. So now what we're going to do is click the shelf and we're going to get a wood, a white color and then click this plain color and I'm going to be coloring it that the same color. And then after we got the shelves colored, we're going to be coloring the neon lights. You could literally color them whatever you think. I feel like pastel colors look the best, but I'm going to keep going with the white theme as the shelves are white and I feel like that blends in better. So it looks like they actually connect. Okay, so now we have the colors of the lighting i forgot what they were called for a second and now we're going to get our plants to plant up our design i don't know so first they're going to get the spiky plant and we're going to put this plant in each of the shelves along with the rest of the other plants and since there's a little bit of spacing i'm going to add in another decoration which is called a pyramid so let's search that up Pyramid, there we go, metal pyramid, and I feel like that gives it a bit of a cute also looking design which looks kind of tumbler-ish. You just have to move your plants a little bit closer to each other, and I'm just going to move this plant a little bit here because I'm not going to place a pyramid here as it may look too crowded. So now what we're going to be doing, we're going to get this texture over here. And right now it's a dark orange color. I want to do a pastel color theme, so I'm going to get like purple looking, an altar, and then after we colored that, we're just going to go around and just use the same texture. But now I want the cactus to be a little lighter, so I'm going to use a mint green, and then I'm going to be using some pastel colors for each of them. All right. So now we have the design done and if you wanted you could even color in the pyramid a different color like uh, gray maybe? Yeah, I think that looks kind of cute. Ooh, yes! And you could even add some picture frames over here and decorate it however you like. I just gave you the simple one. So now... So now it's time to go on to our third decoration. I personally like this a lot. I haven't seen it anywhere. Of course, someone could have done it, but 
I kind of made it up as I was just playing around and fooling around with some plants because you know I'm about the plant life. So first you need a table and I placed down a table so you could pretty much put this anywhere if you wanted and we're going to be getting the larger plant which is called a humble plant. It's kind of humble and so we have the small grid you want the large grid and I'm just going to place this humble plant over here because I forgot to get the roses first and that's what you need. So you search up rose and you get the romantic roses and we're going to go in the middle of the table of course and I'm going to press it down so now my mouse is still hovering over it and I'm going to be pressing the rotate button I think I want the medium grid okay I'm pressing the R on my keyboard there we go and now we got it in the middle and then we just go around wherever we wanted it uh, I want to write that so I placed down three vases and you could literally leave it like that I feel like that would be a good decoration for Valentine's Day and now what you want you want the vase to be the same color so if you change the vase to like a blue all three of them should be a color blue vase because then it kind of looks weird as you can tell so I'm just leaving the vase as a gray and now I'm going to the red part, which is the tulip, to the rose petal part. And I'm just changing the color to any random color. And now I'm going to do the same to this one. And then after, we got to get the last red one. And I feel like the orange color makes it stand out a bit. As you can see over here, I only use three colors, and I feel like those three colors are fairly cute. Over here I used four different colors so I had four vases. It's literally up to you what you want to do. So now we're going to get the larger plot and we're going to be putting it right there and it finishes off. So now you could either leave it like that uh, or you could color the vase whatever color you wanted it. I think I'm going to go with like a gray looking because that looks kind of fancy. You want to leave the color petals the same as the ones in the roses. Because it may look a little bit weird. No, it doesn't really. But I just like keeping it the same color. So now that's our third decoration. And now we're going to... And now we're going to go to the little bit complicated one. Uh, people have made this in a different way. But I kind of added some things. As you can see, there's tiny grass growing, and I combined the two plants, added a little bit of decoration. So what I first placed down was just an outline, so I can delete those. Uh, so first we got to get the fences, and the fence I'm using is the plain quarter fence, and we're going to place it like that. Three spaces. It doesn't have to be three. It could be two or it could be one, but it depends how big you want it. I just want a three space so the window fits right in the middle. And so we're going to be starting off like that. And right now we're going to be getting some plants, of course, because you got to start with the plants. And then we're going to get the linear floor plant. And with the large grid, you're going to place it in each of the middle of the boxes, like so. And now we're going to get the overgrowth floor plant and with this we're going to place it right in the middle over here you don't have to put it down but i feel like it gives a little bit of better texture over here and it looks a little bit cooler so now we get the go to the tables and if you want the little uh growing floor grass thing you're going to get this relaxed side table and go to the bird's eye view and put it right in the middle and then you can rotate this like this and then rotate it again and put it in the middle. After this, we're going to be getting some plants, which are the smaller plants, the spiky plants. And you want the small grid. And with the small grid, you're going to be placing them wherever you can find a place to place them on the relaxed bench thingy. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so it really depends on your liking how much grass you want or how much spiky plants you want to put in. But I just put a fair amount because I feel like it gives more detail over here. So now what we have to do is color the plants. Well, you don't have to, but it's my personal choice. And I'm coloring it a medium green color because I feel like that looks kind of cute. And I'm doing that to all the plants at the top.
Now that we have that done, we're going to go to decorate, get a table, um, and I'm going to go to the bird's eye view. And now I'm going to get a simplicity table over here and go to the larger plot build like so and just place it down in the middle just like that. So now this is usually what the people have without the spiky grass growing out of it. And we're going to be coloring in the tables into a dark to pay color like the dirt. And you can either have this texture or you can have this texture. You can have pretty much any texture you'd like. Uh, but I like this one because it looks a little bit more like dirt. So I'm going to color all three of the tables like that. And after coloring those, you could either leave it like that and just color these with the oyster color or whichever color you wanted and just leave it like that in front of your build or outlining your build. But I went a little bit further and I put in some walls just in case it was connected to your front of the house build. So with that, you can just delete this wall because you don't need it now as you're building the side walls because I'm going to be showing you another way to do it and you also don't need the back of it. Uh, this was just if you wanted different decoration. So you could literally just delete that and now I'm just outlining all three sides with it as we have the front with the little fence over here. And so since we have that done, we're going to be coloring the build like all this oyster color you don't have to it depends on what color you prefer or and or if your house is a different color and now I'm going to be getting a window and I personally feel like this large curved window looks kind of cool with this decoration but it depends what your house style is or what you wanted to use and to like outline you see how the sides of the walls look kind of ugly like that alone I'm going to be getting this plain pillar and placing it right there not there <laughs> that's a little bit farther than plan you can place it right there there we go we have that down and you could leave it as white or you can blend it in that color I feel like this color looks kind of cute because it blends in and this is a optional step you can get the minor stone wall and just put it like that it outlines the build and or you can go all around it really depends up to you how you want to do it exactly you don't have to go the full way around but I just personally did as I'm just showing you what you could do uh, so now we're going to color all three of these sides and after we color these three sides we're going to go to the build section and get all and then find the hanging lights over here and we can either put it straight like that or we could put it tilted to the side and since I did that one tilted to the side I'll put this one straight and then we're just going to color this color black and then the lights I'm going to go with just a plain white and there we go as you can see the plants are a little bit darker over here you could pick either or but I feel like that turned out pretty good And now it's our time for the last one, which is number five, decoration. I literally just put like three plants together and added a little lamp light. I could show you what different types of things you can do with this, but I'm going to be showing you how I did that one exactly. I was like, I need a fifth decoration, so I don't know what to do. So what I first did, honestly, I don't know where I first did. Okay, so I think I placed these uh, like that, just the three of them. This would look good on a bedside table, like near your bed. Okay, and now I'm getting the spiky plant. No, that's not the spiky plant. It's the rough plant. Guys, I don't know my plants. This isn't okay. And then after that, you could literally just leave it like that and you could put a candle there. That would look kind of cute. But now I'm getting a pure plant over here and I'm going to put it like that. And I feel like that's pretty much one of the decorations you can have. Uh, if you didn't want that, you could also add a cactus. I'm going to try with, uh, let's just do the middle one with a cactus so I, it just shows you what to do. And now I'm going to search up lava, because this is a lava light, a lava lamp, whatever you want to call it. So, for the lava, you just place it like that, and of course for all of these you need advanced placement. And or without the cactus, it kind of looks like that. I, don't know, I like the cat with the cactus because it covers the light. So I'm going to get the cactus and do it for all of them. But it really depends on you. 
and your liking. Okay, so now that we have it just like, like that, I'm going to be getting this and coloring it this color. And then we color it like a ghost gray and just like that and we're going to color all the plants like that and the cactus I'm going to choose a mint green color because I feel like that stands out a bit more and I'm going to be doing that same for the leaf so it blends in and after that uh, we're going to do all of the vases like that. So now that we have that down, it's time to color in the lava lamps. You can literally pick whatever color you want. Even this like mint green color that blends in with the cactus it looks pretty cool because it looks like the cactus is shooting out that green color. So you know what, I'm going to leave that there. And what else you could do is get, you could do all three of them that color, you could change it to blue change the purple to any color and since I already did purple I'm just going to try like a yellow orange ah, I don't like that that much I'm just going to do like pink I think that looks kind of cute and the purple one is over here okay so now I have loaded in um I think the fans are coming here they are they're going to be looking at my build and I need them <laughs> She almost ran me over. I want them to judge what I have built. Okay, girls, ready to judge my builds? Come look over here. What do you think of this? What do ya think? They're gonna give me a number, hopefully. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> one from ten, I give it... You give it a what? An eight or a nine. Oh, that's pretty good! And people like it. They said, oh my god, cute. I love it. Okay. Okay, okay, next one. Eight or nine, too. So that one looks like it's an eight or a nine. And now I'm going to ask them. This is not my original idea, but now it's their turn to judge it. Okay, I need this in my life, someone said. I love it. I can't read all the chat. Oh, they like it. They seem to like it. They give it about a thousand. I give it a nine. Okay, Avery is going tough on me. What about these? What do you give these? What do you think? I like this one better than the, the other one over there. Oh my god, yes! Avery seems to like it. Avery's the one giving me the numbers. A th Whoa, it's more than a thousand. Her favorite ever. Okay, she likes it. This is the original one I came up with. So it looks like I like this one. This is the one that um, pretty much everyone knows about. But I added my own twist. I like it with some dots. People are sniffing it. But different plant in the middle would be better. So she said the different plant would look kind of cute. And this is... She gives that one a 9. And now it's these lava lamps. And I think they seem to like it. This one is also my original idea. I like this a lot. Okay, so they like it. Avery's still giving a rating. 9 or 10, I'll take it. All of them were in the high 9s, 8s, 7s. So it seems good. Well, guys, I really hope you enjoy. And I really hope that this video helped out a lot with um, how you can decorate your house with some plant decoration. <laughs> decorations I can't speak thank you so much for all these girlies for helping me rate my builds and all those people that I lagged out of the server and they were watching me build I really have hope you have an amazing day and remember stay fantastic also post some pictures if you decide to use some of these ideas on Instagram or Twitter and I'll like your photos bye everybody if you enjoyed this video click that subscribe button to be a part of the Pandora habitat also, click that notification bell to be notified of when I post. Could you be the first to comment? Panda Girl is out!